Welcome to this training video on the Quizcom charts for SharePoint web part. This video focuses on how to configure the web part to build simple charts. I'm going to show you how to build the chart shown on screen using data from a SharePoint list. The SharePoint list I'm using is called sales, which stores sales values for specific years. It has a number of views, including one which just shows sales for USA. On a blank page in my SharePoint site, I'm going to add the Quizcom charts for SharePoint web part. To configure it, open the tool pane, then choose the option for modify web part settings. This will open a window which will let you configure the chart. There are two areas to this window, one to define the data source and the other to define all the settings of the chart. Data source for the chart can either be a SharePoint list or an Excel spreadsheet. For a SharePoint list, the connections property screen will give you the option to select the site of the source list. You then need to select the list from the drop down, which will be specific to the site. You also have the option to select a specific view. This will restrict the data in the chart to just the items in that view. Once the list and view is defined, you can then define the axis of the chart. In my case, I want the year to be the X axis. There can be multiple series on the Y axis, for example, sales and profit. But in my case, I just want to have value. Next, there are a number of screens where you can control the appearance of the chart. Under general settings, you can set a title for the chart and how it appears. There are also some options around the layout of the chart. In chart look and feel, there are a number of predefined skins which set the appearance of the chart.
Advanced users can customize these skins further themselves. The X axis and Y axis setting screens let you apply specific settings to each axis, including the name. There is also the option to define the format of the axis, for example, to be currency. Further options let you set the scale and decimal places. Under legend settings, you can choose to show a legend on the chart. This is especially useful when you have multiple series on your chart. We now need to add our data series to the chart. For each series, you select the settings and then add them. These settings include selecting a chart type, you can also select the color which that series will be displayed on the chart. To add your series onto the chart, give it a name and then click Add. You know it has been added because it will be listed on screen. To save all the settings applied to the chart, click OK, which will close the settings window and save the changes. Click OK on the web part tool pane and save the SharePoint page. You will now see the created chart with the settings applied. One visual consideration for the chart is the web part title. You may want to change or hide this.
In order to change the chart, you need to open the tool pane and click on Modify Web Part Settings. You can choose to update any of the settings, including the series display settings. If you choose the apply option from the settings window, the changes will be saved, but the window will not be closed. There are two other screens on the settings window, which we have not yet looked at. Tooltips let you configure what will be shown when you hover on a point on the chart. User actions let you set various options for the user, including being able to print or download the chart. In our newly saved chart, we have changed the appearance and given various user interactivity options. Thank you for watching this training video. Should you require any further assistance, please contact Quizcom on the details shown on screen.